Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to perform a lateral analysis in the RAM frame analysis mode. As you can see, we're starting with a structure that's already been analyzed for gravity loads in RAM steel beam and RAM steel column. We're at the point where we're ready to perform our lateral analysis. To enter RAM frame, go to the design toolbar and select the frame design icon. Now RAM frame has several different modes, but as you enter the program, you're automatically going to be set into the analysis load cases mode. You can confirm that by using these pull down menus. This is the area within RAM frame where all of your lateral loads are generated and your lateral analysis is performed. Now upon entering RAM frame before performing an analysis, you do need to go ahead and complete your lateral analysis workflow in RAM frame. This would include the process of specifying all of your criteria, including P-delta effects or your diaphragm information. This would include assigning all of your lateral properties that might be necessary for your analysis and generating all of your lateral loads. You can work your way from left to right in the main menu to make sure all of the steps are completed before performing an analysis. When you're at the point where you're ready to perform an analysis, you're gonna to go to your process menu bar item and then select analyze. Within RAM frame, you could decide which load cases to go ahead and include in the analysis. Here you're gonna see this model contains dead load and live load and snow load, which were created in the RAM modeler. And then we also have some wind loads according to the ASCE 716 and some seismic loads according to the ASCE 716 equivalent lateral force procedure. We've also generated the Eigen solution load case and the center of rigidity load case. Now within this dialog, we're gonna go ahead and ensure all of our load cases that we want to include in our analysis and eventual design are selected. Once all of your load cases are selected, you can click OK to kick off the analysis. Once the analysis is complete, the RAM frame dialog will appear on your screen. If you had any issues that were encountered during the analysis, you may get an additional dialog box telling you to take a look at the analysis log. This analysis was performed and completed without issuing any warnings or errors, so I can go ahead and click OK. Now what you're going to notice in RAM frame is that a lot of the options now available in the process results area are now active meaning that we can review that information on screen and also several of the reports are also available. Over the next several videos, we will go ahead and review several of the results that are available either for viewing on screen or in report format. At this point, this concludes our process for performing an analysis in the RAM frame analysis mode. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.